Now, if my family would quit interrupting. What I have in my hands is a Rock Island Armory that I just purchased. I purchased it in January, uh, January 31st. And it took, what, 20, 21 days to get to me. Um, so I picked it up on Friday, this past Friday, and I actually had some range time with it. Um, got it all cleaned up because it was covered in Cosmoline. That's the standard practice uh, with uh, Rock Island Armories. It usually comes in a bag filled with uh, not oil, but preservative. <clears throat> so, uh, gun is empty, and we'll let the slide go. Whoops, didn't mean for it to drop like that. The spring is something I'm getting used to. Extremely stout spring. Uh, so, this is my first full size 1911. This is my first double stack 1911. This is my first 10 millimeter. Yes. Yes. So, it's a 10 millimeter and it's bushingless barrel, which means. Let's see if I can get this locked. Oh, damn. See, I'm trying to hold this gun in front. You know what? There you go. I'm trying to hold it in front of the camera at an odd angle while trying to rack it back, and that stout spring is not doing me any favors. So, you can see the, the barrel's ramped a little bit. So, it's a bull barrel. Uh, that rod is very stout and that spring is extremely stout but I was actually able to field strip this and not only field strip it but get the uh, spring off of the rod. Uh, there's a little trick that you can use and I did use the slide to get it off. I have a video on how to do that. Um, so took it to the range after, uh, after cleaning it up. Um, not only did I clean it up I changed the fiber filament um, and put in a true glow uh, because the one that it came with was very dark. Um, it always comes dark. Um, another thing is, you know, I, maybe it's dark because it's having like a chemical reaction to that cosmoline. Uh, because all three of my Rock Islands came that way. Just a a plastic rod that's not throwing any light or gathering any light and kind of popping yeah so uh i replaced this one as as i did with the other uh, 1911s i have um and i used a uh, true glow uh filaments that i found on amazon uh if you want to change yours out and you have this gun uh they take 0 0.060 diameter uh, filaments so, uh, and, and they're pretty easy to change. Um, now getting out the one that it, that, that it came with, that was problematic. Um, the other two that I did on my other 1911, on my other two 1911s, um, they came out rather easy. Pretty much what I did was I just took a knife and slid it down the middle. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, cut down as far as I could and then kind of used pliers started pulling and they came apart uh, this one you know did not want to come out um, it it looked like it was glued in there it's either that or someone decided to use a uh, uh, Loctite because there was some goop in there that I couldn't get out um, it took a while to get out um, but other than that I mean there was that. Um, the slide lock looks like the parkerization is coming off, but I can get another one, and I'm thinking about getting an extended uh, slide release or slide catch. Um, parkerization is pretty good on this. There are some brass dings. It came that way, probably from, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, they just. Uh, they they test fire two shots. Uh, they probably they probably do more than that, and they just take two from what they shot, because this looks like maybe ten or so. 
and these are not the ones you know these are not from what I shot when I went to the range this came out of the the Cosmoline bag with those already on there so uh, and I've seen that before with my other 1911s as well at least I keep saying my other 1911s but I, ha I have two night I have two Rock Island Armory 1911s and I have one uh, Metro Arms 1911 and all three of those are uh, medium sized so um, this this gun gives me a couple of firsts so again it's my first uh, 10 millimeter uh, it's my first double stacked uh, <clears throat> 1911 and it's my first full size 1911 <clears throat> um, so when I took it to the range, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna be a decent handful, but I thought that it was there was gonna be more recoil than I experienced. Um, now, now one of the reasons I, what I was doing was I was looking for a Glock 20 or a Glock 29, and then I changed up uh, because. I remember the issue that I had with my Glock 22. Um, now, granted, that's 40, but uh, the problem I was having with the, the Glock 22 was that uh, prior to me buying that gun, I had fired 40, but it had been from an all-metal gun. So uh, the all-metal, you know, gun soaking up 40 <coughs> caliber recoil. Um, and then me going to a Glock 22 and doing and shooting the, you know, similar ammo out of it, I was like, whoa! I was like, this thing has some some kick, and I wasn't I wasn't used to the Glock 22, so it was kind of a it was a turn off, but I never factored in that 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 okay the Glock 22 is a, a lot lighter than what I was shooting 40 out of before, so uh, of course a lot of that uh that recoil was going to make it to my uh to my hands um so once i remember that i said well i don't want a glock 20 or a 29 now because uh i, I don't want to i don't want a light gun i want something to experience to get a good experience with 10 millimeter out of and so i said you know let's go let's go big let's go heavy you know so got a thick gun um this is almost three pounds, and uh, I had no problem whatsoever with recoil uh, shooting this ammo here. So this is standard load, 180 grain, SMB, and uh, ammo ink. So I bought two boxes of each, so 200 rounds. Um, but I only shot 40 between both boxes, so I shot 25 of this, and that's good ammo. That's the first time I've shot SMB, and uh, it is very clean. Um, and all of my all of my rounds were hitting me like right here, right here. Not these, not these are a lot uh, flyers, but right there. And granted, uh, you know, I'm not hitting the red, but the fact that my groupings were good tells me that uh, the ammo is, is pretty damn good. Um, so I, so this probably means I just need to drift the sights or I need to kind of figure out, uh, determine if the gun is straight in my hands or if it's, you know, if it's pointing a little bit to the left, which is probably the case. Um, so the SMB was really good. The ammo ink was not. So <clears throat> these flyers here were from that um and you know when i when i shot i shot maybe a mags worth out of there at 16 from this box and got pissed and just stopped um so if you're looking to i mean if you're just looking for shitty plinking ammo i guess this is okay but you you got to hit your target right otherwise how in the hell are you going to have fun plinking when when the ammo is not even shooting true. Um, and I, I know for a fact it wasn't me because I shot 25 rounds and it didn't look like buckshot. Immediately after I switched to this ammo, 
I'm, I'm having this scatter problem, you know, so, uh, uh, I'm, I'm confident enough in my, my handgun, uh, I guess, uh, skills to kind of know when I'm having an issue with ammo and when it's me, you know, so, uh, um, I suppose I could continue to shoot this, but, um, I don't know, man. I mean, kind of takes the fun out of things when, when you're doing your part and the ammo isn't, you know? So, uh, so I've got another, what, box and a half, um, box and two thirds, I guess. But anyways, um, so I had fun. Um, yes, this target's only seven uh, yards away, uh, but that's that's how I shoot. Um, I practice for, you know, trying to be on target <clears throat> at a distance where, um, you know, the the threat's coming. You know, 25 yards ain't ain't doing it for me. Uh, 20 or 15, it ain't doing it for me either. Um, that's just me. Um, so. Yes, anyone can hit a target. Anyone should be able to hit a target from seven. But when you when I'm going to the range, I'm not going there to kind of. Uh, I'm not going there to to thump my chest. I'm going there to train. I'm going there to practice trigger discipline, trigger fundamentals. You know, sight getting proper sight picture and everything. I'm trying to get it all gelled together, and that means that you have to do some of the things that people can you know might think are boring um so but but that's it is what it is 